Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to add learning courses to Plex and then organize them appropriately. Um, as you guys can see here, I have a learning course which is called Excel for Beginner to Advanced. Um, what you would do typically is you'd go to your home and then you would click on, I'm sorry, click on more and then you want to add a library here. Then once you click on add library, you click on TV shows. You'd add the name like um, something like learning course or courses, if I could spell. Um, and then you would add folders, so you'd navigate to the folders where your videos are located. And then you would um, you would proceed to the directory of where those files are listed. Um, so then you would want to organize them by season and by episode number just like you would do any other TV show. So as you guys can see here, well, let me go back to one because it's probably just easier just to see a couple. Um, as you guys can see here, there's season one, episode one, season one, episode two, and season one, episode three. And these are the first three files or three videos that's inside the lecture or course. Um, and then if you proceed to where the learning courses is after the metadata has um, grabbed and Plex has done its library scan, um, you can see here there's season one um, and then you can put the titles in there by clicking this little pencil here um, you get the name of the title added here you can change the date and if you want to add posters to the course um, you click on this pencil the edit option here click poster and then navigate to the photo that's within your directory um, but it's actually quite simple um, if you go back here I can do educational video show you again I have the course here, then I have all the the lectures, one through six, and then if we go back to learning classes, you can see it says six seasons. Um, you can make sure that everything is um, completely um, scanned and the library has propagated all the information. Um, as you can see, season three is not here. Um, it's probably this season one or season 100, so let's look and see. Uh, yep, so then we can do season three here. Save changes. Uh, and then you'd want to go and rename the files. So for season three, I would go uh, season S03, episode one. Take out the period here. I'm not sure if it makes a difference, but keep it all uh, truncated, not that wonderful jazz. And then if you have any subtitles, you'd want to make sure that you name those subtitles the same exact um, syntax as the rest. Um, that. Zero. Okay. And then we need a keyboard. All right, there we go. Then moving on, you can go to this one, rename. So we know this is episode two, drop the one, take off the period. We want the subtitle. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab the subtitle there. Rename it the same as the title of the file. Drop the period, there we go. Got so three, season three. Or yep, that's right. Drop that. Drop that. And so on and so forth. You can do it like that. I'm pretty sure you guys get the gist. And then after that's done, the files will continue to scan. Uh, you can do a manual scan, but you can see here it's scanning. And. Uh, Click on season three, and then you can see the same thing with files here. And after you finish doing that um, and adding the photos and all that wonderful stuff, then you have your your lecture. Um, I'm sure there's probably better tools out there apart from using Plex to do this. Um, I'm currently looking for something like that, but if you guys have any suggestions, uh, please. Um, share and uh, like and uh, leave some comments below. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.